Hey, seven friends, welcome to the Joyous Sambian Rachel. I'm Rachel Kuhn, and today is our catalog walkthrough. Not only our new mini catalog, but the celebration flyer. I'm gonna go ahead and flip here, and I will start showing you pages from the catalog and some samples I made with them. Go and hold real quick. All right, let's see if you guys can see everything. If I should need to move anything around, that looks a little bit better. There we go. Okay, if you are here live, I would love to hear your comments. Um, there's gonna be one lucky live watcher who'll get a gift from me, some happy mail. And then if you're watching the replay, just say replay, and there will also be a replay winners as well. So I love it when you guys watch this, and um, I love sharing you what is new and some samples. Um, first, we have two items we're gonna look at today, the celebration and the mini catalog. The celebration only lasts for two months. You'll see the date on here through September 30th. The mini catalog lasts all the way through the end of December. So that one stays a lot longer and you wanna focus on getting a little bit from both. Let me go ahead and grab our celebration and show you what's inside. If you're new to celebration, this is the first time ever Stampin' Up! is doing a second celebration. Um, they usually do it in the beginning of the, in January, the beginning of the year, and that has been three months in the past. This last time was only two months, and this month was just the two months. And this time is our first time ever for a second celebration, so we're super excited, and mostly because it means there's going to be Christmas in here. And who doesn't love free Christmas crafting supplies? I sure know I do. All right, so this is the cover. We'll open it up inside, and we'll explain a little bit and show you some samples. All right, the first one right here is a Be Dazzling specialty paper. It's a six by six piece of paper that looks like this. It is just beautiful and has all of the shimmer in the world. I love it. It comes with eight different sh eight sheets of it at that six by six size, and it's easy to cut and punch out, and even to die cut with this. Let me show you a couple samples. So here we have this reindeer who's been punched out and he just has the best bling to him. Isn't that amazing? This will be a one that will go really super fast. So if you love this one, be sure to put that in your cart first because these are just while supplies last. So be sure to grab that one right away. This has a cool example if you wanted to change the color, but you could even use a spritzer and your ink refill and change the color of that as well. Pretty awesome. All right, the next page, we have the Penguin Playmates DSP. Let me show you that and how it coordinates with the stamp set and from the mini catalog. All right, so this paper is super fun. We have a very playful side that has all of the creatures, like these fun winter creatures. The polar bear, the fox, the penguin, and then just in all these different sizes. Then if we flip this over, you'll see a more um, just basic shapes of paper, which I love, love this one. I love these trees, these polka dots. This one right here with the stripes could be used for almost anything. I know we're looking at it from the other side and thought completely Christmas or winter. You flip it over and you can change this up with anything and use it and it'll be great. The best part though is that it does coordinate. And in fact, this piece right here has it so we can punch out the cute little penguin. And that's what I did with these cards here. I've used the DSP three different ways on this card. So I have them punched out. Then I have it, here's this background piece and another background piece or piece right here that's DSP as well. These cards I'll be making later today at 4 p.m. for my live. So be sure to join me for that one and I'll show you how to make these really fun book end type cards. All right. Let's turn the page, show you the next item. And this is a $50 item. So when you spend $50, you can get that for free. This one has two different things. One is a stamp set 
called Feels Like Home has these great sayings and a giant image where I've seen people do one of two things, color it or keep it a solid color. So examples are here where they watered colored that one and then this one, they went ahead and just left it that basic color as kind of like a, almost like a black and white image. And then speaking of black and white, and the next page is the DSP that is super awesome and coordinates with the hand pen petals um, bundle from the annual catalog. So this paper looks like this on one side and it comes in four sheets of six designs. So three on this side and then we'll flip it over and then we have more of a, a white based side on this. Super fun paper. I love the black and white because it means you can color it and change it to any color that you want. In fact, let me show you the sample for this one. It was a card I made and where I've done the spotlight technique and I've created this little spot of color and I've die cut it out and I popped it up. And then I use the other parts of the DSP as background. Just so fun. I love this card. All right, keep on going. Some more paper. I love Christmas paper. You just can't ever have enough. And when it's for free, you want it all. All right, let me show you this paper and tell you why I love it so much. So, of course, it's double-sided. has 12 designs, six on one side, six on the other. Here is more of our colorful side, I would say. has great little reindeers, some of these green snowflakes. This fun reindeer here, he also matches with the punch that can be punched out. And then this great tree and the snowflake. Let's go ahead and flip it over and you guys can see what the other side looks like. Just more of a very traditional type Christmas look. Um, the colors, the basics, and even this one right here is like a wood panel looking one. If I didn't have Actually, on this side, you could totally use it for anything non-Christmas as well. This side had more of like the traditional snowflakes, reindeer, trees. This side is a lot more basic. Can be used for so many things. All right, let me show you a sample with this one. I created this really fun card as a swap where I've used it three times, again, the DSP. So I have DSP right here as a background. We have this DSP that I've stamped on the image, the saying, and the trees from the fun deer stamp set. And then I also have punched out the DSP. And let me show you the punch real quick. So the punch will only punch a deer out one way. So going one direction. So I have it punched and we're going to create this one. For this. So this guy, what we did was just flip over the DSP the other way and punch it. So that way he was turning his face left and, or he's turning his face right and this one's turning his face left. Quick, simple tip for that one. Don't you love that? Let me show you the inside too. I went ahead and I've embossed on the inside of this one with that fun snowflake. This is a wintry 3D one that's in the annual catalog. And I just love how that added a little bit of extra without very much. All right. Keep on going. It keeps on getting better, I promise. If you thought that was amazing, let's go ahead and turn the page and show you the counting sheep. These are the cutest, cutest sheep ever. And it's hard to tell on the screen. So whatever you can't see here, there is a PDF link I posted earlier. So if you want that, feel free to download that and you can flip through this and look at it a lot closer. But let me go ahead and show you the stamp set and the dies. It's counting sheep it has these three great sheep cute little hat, grass, two great birthday scenes. And then in the inside, we also have the dies. The dies are a separate celebration item. So we have one for the stamp set, one for the dies. So you'd have to spend $100 worth to get both. Um, it has extra great things with the dies though. So this fence shape, the sun, the little grass, and a balloon and a little flag. So I highly recommend this. I call that grass, but this could also be um, clouds and there's two different shapes of them. Pretty fun. Let me show you the card that was designed by my friend Joya and I made this this morning and I just love, love it. Super cute card. We have those cute little guys who die cut them and we have 
color them in with their blends. I went ahead and used this paper, was from the other celebration. Do you remember we just looked at that one? Right there, part of that beautifully penned paper. Fun, huh? So two celebrations in one for that card. Ready, should we keep on going? Let's go ahead and flip. Ooh, the texture and frames for $50 with your, when you get that for free with a $50 order, or the Summer Shadows dies. And this one coordinates with the Shaded Summer stamp set that you find in the annual catalog. Great, great find there. All right, so for this one, I have a couple samples. Not too many, though. Let me show you the stamp set. There are no words on this stamp set. This one is a tricky one if you're just to look at it and think, oh, what can I make with this? But it makes great backgrounds and is just full of fun texture. I, uh, another demonstrator, she made a really cute ornament using this piece here and these stripies going through it and use, let's see if I can find it. Oh, from the penguin one. Let me grab it. This little piece from this penguin as a top of the ornament. Super clever. So I'm sure if you look at this one, you can find other shapes and things that you can create with it. Let me show you the cards I made. So I have this one, which is very basic and simple, and it's just using different shades of green, going at that diagonal and with the different shapes from this one. I wanted to make this one just to kind of feature each one and you can see um, how awesome they are together and how great they can be alone as well. That little saying right there was from a celebration one. That was from the Feels Like Home. I can't thank you enough. The same there. Also, because right now is Olympics, I made this fun card using the silver embossing powder. I'm putting out a little USA pride right here. I don't know about your family, but we've been watching the Olympics every night for the last week and a half or so. And we have really enjoyed seeing the other athletes compete and do so well. If you want something a little bit more traditional, I know that one's the silver one. This is also how you can stamp it with those rings looking like the Olympics. So much fun. All right. We're almost done with celebration. There is this other one called Delicate Delilah's and it's a beautiful floral image. And that was with a $100 order. I don't have any samples of this one. Um, it is a distinctive type inking though. So it looks really realistic and has beautiful, beautiful images. Lastly, when you host a party or spend $300 worth, you get this free host stamp set. Let me show you that one up close. This one has some of the best sayings ever. And this is only for during celebrations. You only have two months to get this one. Let me show you some of my favorites that sayings in this one. This one would have to be number one. Your birthday came, your birthday went, here's the card I should have sent. How many times have you sent a late birthday card and you thought this would have been great to have on it? This one's also a fun one. Hope your day is fantabulistic, fabulous and fantastic all in one. Just some really awesome sayings here that you should have in your craft room. Oh, another great one. Sending this card for no particular reason. Love it. All right, so that is all for our celebration. Of course, they want you to join. I want you to join my team. And when you do during celebration, you also get a free bundle from the mini catalog. And it's there's a list of them. So you, oh, here we go. There's our little list. So you can see. And I'll get ready to show you these bundles and the next catalog of what you can get for free when you join Stamping Up during celebration. All right, set that aside, and we'll go on to the mini catalog. Love the cover, super crisp, clean, looks very traditional Christmas, and has some really fun little pieces on here. It's so going to open it up and start in the very beginning. The table contents is superb to look at to start with. I know that sounds crazy and logical, but feel free to take a look at there so you know where to find things later. There's our sweet numbers right here of the pages you'll find. 
And then my favorite part is right here that we can see all the bundles and the catalog at the glance. That's where I spend most of my time after I've done my first look through and I want to find it again. All right, you guys are ready. So this page right here is all about make a difference. Stampin' Up! does this great type of like a, a fundraiser where they donate $3 to help different organizations um, called their give back. This one is called the Strong of Heart and they are donating to help support heart health. So every time you order this one, $3 of the profits go towards those um, organizations. Love, love that. I love how Stampin' Up! loves to give back. All right, here comes some upcoming kits you can look forward to. And let's go to some of the sweets. There are a handful of amazing sweets on here. And sweets means that you can buy everything with one purchase item down here at the bottom. Or you can pick and choose, but they all coordinate. So this has great paper that goes with it. The ribbon, let me show you, I have that ribbon here. It's just gorgeous. It's a real red and it is a mini ruffle ribbon. Super fun. Um, there's also craft paper that just came out and I'll show you more of that in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and keep on going. I hear my kids getting louder, so hopefully they don't come in yet. And the, I could spend all day flipping through this and showing you every single page, but please go look online or download the PDF. The next suite is called Painted Christmas and has beautiful pine cones. This is a double suite, well, a double stamp set suite. So you have two that you can get that coordinate together and coordinate with the paper as well. Let me show you two of these items from this page. It's called the Gold Holly Leaves. There are these really cute little gold leaves so you can get that to focus on it see it better that feel like they're stiff they're kind of stiff but they're made out of fabric so you can hold it so you can see they come in two different sizes and they are so fun and easy to add and embellish things to i have a card for that one let me show you this guy right here I made this at our stamp camp and we just added a little bit of gold to it Super fun. It, it does have a little bit of a sparkle to it, too. There's also this beautiful ribbon that has the gold trim on the outside. And that's in the cherry cobbler color instead. So cherry cobbler and gold. Look at that shine. Super pretty. All right. Let's keep on going. Okay, so the next one, let's go. We went too far. I have all these tabs, so I won't forget anything, hopefully, this time. The next suite is called Whimsy and Wonder. And this is a very untraditional Christmas, but with traditional Christmas trees. So this one has this paper where they have pinks. Look at that. Polished pink, blushing bride. We have pink ribbon for this one. Super untraditional, but I love this. It looks very modern and chic, I feel. I have one example with this stamp set and dies uh, made by my friend Natalie. So she has these cute little trees all lined up. And then her saying right here, let your heart be light. Love this. The stamp that she used behind there came from the annual catalog, which I think is the artistically, oh, I can't remember the next part of that one. But it's also a great one that you'll find in the animal catalog. If I think of it, um, or if you know it, shout it out as well. Love her card. She said one of her favorite parts, I think, was that it has a die that die cut all the stars at once. She said she would not have made it with the stars if she had to crank those out every single time. Because they're just tiny and that would take forever. But it had one that stripped to cut them all out at the same time. So love, love this set and what Natalie made. All right, that one's on my wish list for sure. And then we showed you a little bit of the deer one called Peaceful Deer with this deer card here and this deer card here using celebration items to go along with it. And it has that great coordinating punch as well. Love this one because the punch also has antlers and a cute little circle so you can make a little nose with for Rudolph. Super fun. 
and great images. There's a stamp set for the Peaceful Deer. And these stains are just tiny. Like, I'll open up so you can kind of see. They're just little. Oh, look, I have my extra reindeer in here <laughs> from earlier. And this is the photopolymer, which is an awesome way. And that you see that I started to transfer over from the window sheet that cam comes with it onto the case itself. This is the new way that Stampin' Up! has us storing these type of stamps. All right, keep on going. Let's see, what is next? All right, the Holly Jolly Wishes is a stamp set that I got from a, well, I got a card from a trade. This, a trade, a swap, a card swap. This is made by Patty Chanel from Connecticut. And she did a beautiful job using, again, those untraditional Christmas colors. And she's uh, this awesome pearlescent snowflake dies. And she's embossed it. And she used the greeting from right here, the Merry Christmas to you, which is a great big greeting and just super well done. All right. Next page is another suite. And this one is for all of you pet lovers out there. The cutest puppy dog ever and kittens and like a little hamster or gerbil, which you can then make look even more fun as you dress them up for Christmas. Super fun sayings. And look at this paper on the bottom. Let me see if we can get it to focus. This one, sadly, I don't have yet. And so I need to get it so I can show it to you guys better. But look at that little corgi in a sweater. And this little dog all wrapped up in Christmas lights. Super fun paper. The fun thing about this one, I do have one thing is the untraditional pool party ribbon that coordinates with it. So they just have a little bit of pool party within that DSP. And I think that is such a great idea to pull in and make some ribbon that isn't traditional, but could be used for a lot of other things as well. Love, love this one. This is also on my wish list. You can see my wish list is getting longer and longer. <laughs> All right. Here we talked about and showed a little bit our Penguin Place bundle, which comes with this cute stamp set and the punch as well. When you do them together, they save 15%, or 10%, sorry, 10% each time whenever you bundle. It's a great way to save. And I love these, this little penguin. Let me see if I showed you. Another friend made me this card and sent it to me. She used that beautiful, bedazzling celebration paper there, and she made her cute little penguin going down the, the hill. Looks like he's like sledding on his belly, huh? Great, great card. And look, she's even punched out that little feet and embossed it. Love this card. This was made by Phyllis Walker, and she's a great friend of mine. All right, we're almost done with Christmas, I think. Oh, the fun thing about this one is that there's even a happy birthday and a balloon, so it doesn't have to be just Christmas or just winter. You can use it for other celebrations as well. All right. We are getting ready to go into the fall items, and right here are is some of my favorite ones. So on this page, I don't have anything to show you. This is on my wish list as well, but these dies are just amazing. That pumpkin detail, the size of them, just super, super beautiful. And then on next to it, we have a little bit more playful stamp set called the Nuts About Squirrels. And I made a card for that one for a leadership swap. So here's the stamp set with the great sayings. Um, nuts about you, happy birthday, hey there, hope you're feeling bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Super cute. The card I made was a one a waterfall card. So I got to show lots of the squirrels and images. And then when I just pull on this tab here, it moves to show each one of those panels. And then our happy birthday message. I made this a full card by adding it to a card base so it does open up inside. And we have our cute little branch there and leaves that match on our envelope as well. 
Love, love this card. I hopefully you guys do too. This one I have over on my blog and you can learn how to make this for me. All right. Let's turn the page onto our next suite. It's called Cute Halloween and it comes with this stamp set that has a matching punch and some great embellishments and amazing paper. Let me show you the ribbon for this one. There's this beautiful gingham ribbon that's black and white, but because it is white, let me see if I can get it in my hand, you can color it with your stamping blends to another color. Let's say you want it to be orange and black, or purple and black, or red and black even, green and black, whatever you want, you can change this one up with just the tip of your stamping blends. Great way to customize it, and it's just the best size and really easy to tie bows with. I'll do a quick one just to show you. Just a really nice, nice ribbon. I did use this one on my card earlier, that one. You might have saw that one when I was showing off that cute deer. All right, let's turn the page to show you Halloween. Um, this one is the Frightfully Cute Bundle. This is one of my favorites because of the dies. Like I have a good amount of Halloween stamps and I don't usually traditionally make cards. I like to make treats holders or uh, little tags to go along with treats. So when I saw this one and all the amazing dies, I knew that was one I had to get. Here's the stamp set, Frightfully Cute, which has even just great images. And it has a to and from. So when I make my tags, it's already there for it. Then I made this card using mostly the dies. So I have this Happy Halloween to You was a die that we from the set. Then I have this label die and this hat die. You have to look at that because look how much detail is on there that it's been die cut and embossed at the same time. Super fun. Then these spiders, of course, aren't as scary if you just add a little bit of Winkastella to them. And be sure to finish off the inside by stamping on the corner with one of your favorite images from the set. This one I made for the Queen Swap, and I'm excited for them to get that one. Let me show you these dies real quick, because I showed you some on the card, but there's even more. So we have an owl. This one will stamp, die cut out the moon. We have a cute little black or fence. You can make scary fences or nice fences, whatever you want. Um, the spider web, which is amazing. That hat I showed you here are two little tags or dies or labels and this label right here as well. And of course, a scary tree. This is just such a fun die set that I highly recommend getting it. Um, the black paper, the black glitter paper came back. So if you're a fan of that one, it is returned. And then also, I don't have this one yet, but he is the cutest little cat in a box that I've ever seen. And this is on my list of items to get as well. All right, I think this is the last suite called Harvest Meadow. Let me focus in on it, there we go. The paper for this one is just gorgeous so pretty those colors very a subtle look to them and then they have this brand new um cork paper specialty paper that is awesome let me show you that one i see this paper here has great texture it's super light and thin on one side it is plain and the other side has the cork texture to it and paper this will add so much to any project you make. And because it's flat on this side, it's easy to attach. All right. I think that's about all for the sweets. And we're gonna get ready to head to the very back of the catalog. Oh, another favorite of mine right here. If you love cute, this is a cute one, The Joyful Life. All right, so the pages 65 is where it starts on the bundles. So bundles are what saves you money and makes things coordinate. So I highly recommend if you see a stamp set you like or a punch or a die you like, get them both, bundle them, and you'll be so glad that you did. Um, there's so many great ones that I'll just briefly show you. So you can tell the punches have the little punch next to it just to show you see that that's what that is. If it's 
just the image. You know, those are the dye ones. One of my other favorites is right here. It's the Wise Men dies. Super fun and Christmassy. We see that deer one again. There's, there's a holly border punch. A cute little cabin dies. A sweater die. The polar bear. Oh my goodness. Just just adorable, adorable. Then here are those pumpkin dies I was telling you about. Detailed pumpkin dies. Love those. Some swirly images to make some great looking wreaths. Right there. That's the color of the seasonal swirl dies. And then on the next page, we have the catalog at a glance. And I, I told you earlier that this is one of my favorite pages I love. Because you can look at it and see a little image and know, oh, the polar bears are over on page 39. I also use it as a way to keep track of what I've already gotten. So I'll highlight the stamp sets that I have in my collection already and some of the other items as well. If you turn the page, it also has the embossing folders on here, the paper, the ribbons, and the specialty paper accents and embellishments. Let me show you two of the embossing folders. If all of the embossing folders in this one I think are amazing. Let me show you two of them. So one of my favorites is called Star Cross Embossing Folder. Let me see if you can see that. I might need to put paper behind it so you can see it a little bit better. The cool thing about this one is that it's half of it is stars and the other half are these um, crosses or checks, check marks, I guess, boxes. And when you die cut, it looks like that. All in one fell swoop, two different embossing. I showed my 10 year old son this and he just loved, loved that. I thought that was really cool. So do I, I think that's awesome. The next one I haven't used yet. It just came the other day and it is a, um, musical notes. So it's called Merry Melody Embossing Folder. And for Christmas, I always think of music. So this one is a favorite one that I will use over and over again. I was trying to play this song earlier and I have no idea what song it is. I don't even know if it is this song. Yeah, hopefully someone else who's better at playing piano can figure that out. All right. I wanted to show you the heartwarming hugs with a DSP that was in last catalog that came back. And then just make sure you look at all those ribbons. I used the glitter white ribbon right here for this card and this has the beautiful little white parts to it or glitter i should say all right let me show you some of the specialty paper because a lot of times we just see the stamp sets and we don't realize what all makes makes them great is also the paper that's used for it okay so i showed you the cork a little bit that's a really fun paper and then we have this snowy white. So if I flip it over, it's hard to see, but texture wise, you can almost just hear that. It's like a velvety on one side and this side is um, flat and easy to use. These, This is amazing. And I used this one just recently in my Stamp Camp Christmas um, in July for putting it on top of my stocking here. So that has that white texture, super soft, and is easy to attach. Just love, love that snowy white. That would be great with the penguins. That would be great with the polar bears to make that snow look to it. This was that returning favorite, that black glitter paper as well. That one's right there. It comes in 12 by 12s. And then Stampin' Up! recently just got rid of all their silver foil paper, and I was pretty sad about that and tried to stock up on it. And then they came out with this amazing three silver pack. So three different styles of silver. One's a little bit more matte and more of a gray. And we have these two super shiny ones, and but slightly different colors. We have a darker and a lighter version of it. So those will be fun to add to any project as well. Then we have craft paper. How fun is that? This is so old school. I know they used to have that, I think years ago. And now they brought it back for the season because a lot of um, packaging things look great in this craft paper. All right. We're just about done. I hope you guys have found something that you love as well. 
Um, the last page is all about hostess, though. So if you want to host a party with me, I would love that. And hostess are the only ones who can earn these stamp sets in the very back. So if you love the Seasons of Fun or the Amaryllis Abloom, that's how you have to earn them. Or you need to order at least $150 worth. And then you can use your hostess rewards to get those items for free. All right, you guys. I hope you've had fun looking through and seeing all of these samples from the catalog and from Celebration. There's just so much I want to share with you. And luckily, I have a couple months to keep on doing that. Hope you enjoyed this little tour of the catalogs. And be sure to comment and let me know what was your favorite items that you saw today in our Facebook Live. Have a great day and happy stamping, everyone. Goodbye.